Good morning YouTubers, hopefully you're all seeing my face properly on this video. I've had one or two comments lately that the camera hasn't been playing ball. Stop recording video. So, um, I hope this is doing the job. Today's video, um, it says it in the title, Squeezebox Basics Volume 3. Yes, we've got a new Squeezebox to show you, a new addition to the family. But first a little bit of pedigree. Um, as you know, I play the English concertina. I've been playing that um, for a few years now, um, to varying degrees of success. Um, we've had a couple of videos about that in volumes one and two. Um, I did try my hand at the Melodian, um, but I made the mistake of getting hold of a horrible Chinese box, which went horribly, horribly wrong. A um, couple of house moves, the, the inside deteriorated. Cosmetically, it's fine. But the insides are just shot, so that's going to be sold for parts. Um, I then tried the piano accordion. Um, now, like the box I'm going to show you, brand new piano accordions can be very expensive. So, uh, I went down the dreaded eBay route, and I got a vintage box from the 60s. Which did me well for a while, but again, it started to deteriorate. I thought it could be restored, but um, it just started to get worse and worse. So... Um, I went, uh, I just happened by chance to be looking um, for one of these. I've been looking for one of these for a long time, these boxes, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, brand new, they're even more expensive than piano accordions at times because they're very rare in this country or the scarily cheap ones are scarily busted, for want of a better word. But I've managed to come across this one. I got this for a mere couple of hundred pounds. Um... Brand new, it would be over a grand, as I say. This is a Hona Norma 3. Um, they made Melodians with that name. This is not a Melodian. This is a chromatic button accordion. So it looks a bit like a piano accordion on the bass side. As you can see on the right-hand side, um, we have five rows of buttons instead of a piano keyboard. Cosmetically, there's a little bit wrong with this. It's got the tops of one of the buttons missing and there's a dummy button at the end of this row um, that is actually missing altogether. I think somebody just took that off. Um, maybe because it confused them. I don't know. Um, inside, however, it's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, oh, yeah, and there's a bellow strap missing at the bottom here. This has obviously been well gigged. It looks well gigged. Um, but it's been taken very good care of. It came, came with a nice hard case just here. I don't know if you can see that off to my right. Um, so why did I want to play the button accordion? Well, I do play a bit of piano, as you've heard. And when I got behind the piano accordion, um, of course the keyboard is sideways on, so it made me sound even worse than uh, I do on the piano. Um, I've been wanting to play button accordion since I tried one years and years ago. Um, and that actually turned out just to be a melodion with a Stradella bass. The difference is, this is um, a unisonoric instrument, so what that means if I press a button, pull the bellows out, and then push them back again, you get the same note on the push and pull. And unusually for an eBay item, I've got to say the bellows on this are lovely, they're nice and tight, they're not loose, they're not wheezy, they're not... Uh, leaking air. This has really been well taken care of, apart from the little cosmetics. Now, it's three voice box, hence the name Norma 3. Um, um, so we've got the musette tuning. I'll leave the bass side. There's, there's only one set um, bass setting, that's for all the bass reads. So we've got musette sound. this keyboard although there's five rows of buttons you actually only need three um, but the other two rows are to help you with playing positions when you get further down the keyboard so we've got um, as I say that musette sound the two middle reads if I press this stop here <laughs> got the 
bandonian sound here. the full complement of reeds, the highs and the lows. <laughs> As I say, still learning the keyboard. Uh, we have the low reed, great for blues. Last of all, the beautiful concertinery high read. So, much smaller instrument, same quantity of sounds, easier to play once I've learned the keyboard. Can't go wrong really, can you? Um, I'm going to try a tune here. I'm a bit spacey today, friends. Sorry about that. Um, I've not been um, on great form lately. Uh, been a bit uh, under the weather. So, we'll, we'll try and get a tune out of this if we can. If I go wrong, I apologise. This is Northern Lights of Old Aberdeen. Um, after this explanation of the chromatic accordion. By the way, if you're wondering what the logic is to the keyboard, every four buttons is a diminished chord. So, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's how logically it works. So, all you jazz fans, would find one of these quite easy to play, I think. Okay, here we go. to know off the call there so that went slightly wrong once again big thank you to les from green plectrum films he did an excellent video on the button accordion 
um, explain the layout of the B system. This, by the way, is a C system. Um, it's 96 base, which is slightly more than I need. Um, but who cares? It's it's lovely. It's light. 